battle has begun to save 350 jobs in Waukesha. GE says it wants to move those jobs to Canada. But can this fight be won? Charles Benson live outside the GE plant in Waukesha with the game plan. Charles. Yeah, we are learning a plan of action is being put in place just 24 hours after GE stunned workers out here. Today, Governor Walker talked with city and county leaders and more talks are planned for Friday. The effort needed to save the jobs here may have to be as big as the engines made here. GE has suggested the decision is final, but Governor Walker hopes it's not. And we're going to fight uh, to make sure that the jobs, the good paying, family supporting jobs that are here in Waukesha stay here. Walker and city and county leaders in Waukesha have two simple goals. One, convince GE to stay. Two, if not, find jobs for the skilled workforce. My hope would be is that uh, we can work with GE to make the case that for the quality of the employees that they have here in Waukesha and southeastern Wisconsin, uh, trumps anything else they're going to get around the world. But GE says it's not about the workforce. It's about the Export-Import Bank. Congress won't reauthorize it, and without it, GE says it cannot afford to stay in the U.S. The bank helps other countries finance big purchases of products made in America. I want to have these jobs in southeastern Wisconsin. Mayor Barrett sent Governor Walker this letter Tuesday asking him to put up a bipartisan battle to get the bank reauthorized. If we can do that, that we have a chance, a fighting chance, to make sure those jobs stay right here. Governor Walker, the former presidential candidate, did not take a position on the political fight in Washington, but did suggest that the workers here were unfortunate pawns. He also added that any corporation, it would be unwise for any corporation to make decisions based on one vote in Congress. We're live in Waukesha, Charles Benson. Today's TMJ4. Certainly would be a big blow to our area. Thank you very much, Charles.